to have and to hold, to love and to cherish. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying marriage is stupid, archaic and statistically silly, but not stupid. I'm saying that's biologically inaccurate. The idea of monogamy is a foundation of our modern Western world, but it has no roots in our biology. We see pictures of cute penguin couples and think that humans are the same, but penguins are biologically monogamous. They mate for life. This mate pairing is very rare in biology. Only three to 5% of animals are truly trustworthy. Humans are not biologically monogamous. Monogamy in both social interactions and sexual preference is an oddity, especially in mammals, including tigers. All the other primates are also polygamous, like orangutans that have loose polygamy, where the male mates with females that have territories that overlap with his own. Gorillas are strict polygamists, actually polygynists, where males have harems of women that have enforced social hierarchies, just like Mormons. So, Warren Jeffs, you can marry all the cousins you want. I'm not saying humans aren't capable of monogamy, but that it isn't natural for us, at least for men, as humans are most likely polygynists. It increases the chance of successful offspring, therefore increases the chance of spreading your seed. This is how evolution works. So the next time you catch your boyfriend, husband, otherwise labeled partner, checking out another woman's ass, just remember, he is following his dick and that is how he evolved to be.